There's oil here. What the heck? Man, there's oil all over down here. Right here, look at it. All down the frame. Like anything oily is over there. Like this is on the, the side frame. Coming out of the little hole here. What the heck is in my frame? Where is that coming from? Oh my gosh. Look at the, what the heck? It's all underneath this compressor. Look, it's everywhere in here. There shouldn't be oil in here. Look at it. All over. Where's it coming from? No. This is coming from the... Uh, from the rear differential. There shouldn't be oil in here because it's the air from the compressor goes through this, puts air back into my air B air locker. No. Oh, is that possible? What the heck? Oh, it's soaked down here. Oh my gosh. So it looks like what's happening is my rear differential is pushing oil back into here that's leaking out all over the inside of my van, all down the side here and dripping out the bottom. But that should not happen. Like this airline should not have oil in it. So let me explain what I think is going on right now. This is, uh, this really sucks. Look at the oil in here. Guys, that's my differential oil in the front of my van. That oil's supposed to be back there. Look at it. Holy cow. I have an ARB locking differential, meaning that airline goes into my rear differential and when I want to lock in both my tires so they both turn, I turn on the compressor, then turn on the locker. What the locker does is when I turn it on, that little power thing here, I turn it on, it then sends air back to my rear differential, locking it in. And then when I don't need it anymore, I shut off the locker and it releases air from here. You can hear it go pss. Releases air from the line, which in turn releases the locker. But about a month ago, I was in a scenario out there in the backcountry where I felt like I needed my locker. So I turned the locker on. And normally when you kick the locker on, it runs for like maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds, enough to put enough air in that line to lock the locker in. Once the locker's locked in, there's nowhere else for that air to go. So it, the compressor shuts off until it needs more air. But a month ago I kicked it on and it never shut off. I'm out there in a scenario and the compressor kept running, kept running, kept running. I'm like, whoa, something's not right here. So I got out of that situation in the back country, shut off my locker, didn't really think a thing of it, just wondering why it was just continually running. So when we got to Ray Outfitted, I got them to put it up on the hoist and take a look. And when I kicked on my locker, you could hear air coming inside of my rear differential and you shouldn't hear air pissing out. But I guess what it is, is there must be a seal on my air B locker that's pissing air into my rear differential. And I think what's happening right here now is because there's a leak in that seal, it's shoving oil backwards in the airline where it shouldn't, causing this problem here. So I'm thinking maybe we might just pop this line out and seal the line so no more air can get back through. But I'm gonna call the differential guy first, the guy that did the install and find out if I can. Because, yeah, that's a problem. And I'm going to also have to check my rear differential fluid and see how low it is because you don't want to have that problem either, a red-hot rear end. Okay, let's call the diff guy. Hopefully he answers. Hey, Siri, call Doug. Just to confirm, you'd like to call Doug Chosen Differential? Yes. Calling Doug Chosen Differential. Hello? Hey, Doug, it's Chrome from Van City Van Life. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? Good, man. You got a second? I got a question. Yeah, for sure. What's going on? So my air locker about a month ago 
Um, I think it's blowing a seal in there because it's pissing air inside the differential. Yeah, so it's leaking, leaking out your vent too, probably. Yeah, so yeah, it is, yeah. totally. But um, that airline that's coming back to my compressor is pissing oil out everywhere. I just noticed today, oh, I'm yeah. like... Yeah, so because I so if I unplug the air line from my diff, does that yep. seal it? Oh, like seal it on the diff side. Yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so but, I, I'm best just to pull the line and pinch the line off until we can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there, yeah, there must must be uh, the seal housing O ring. If it's leaking into yeah. into the housing, it's probably the the seal seal housing O rings. Yeah, I'm out here in Alberta, and there's like oil on the ground, but right beside my van, I'm like, what the heck is that? It's been oh, it no. pissed. I guess it's been dripping because my compressor is inside my front of my van, and it's been right. leaking into the wheel well, into the step well of the van, and I just haven't noticed it. Oh yeah, it's just, yeah, it'll get stinky quick if that's happening. Oh yeah. So can yeah. can you yeah. order me a new seal? Can you do that? Yeah, I can do a new seal housing on that. Okay, yeah, that's not a problem. Do you want to just order that up? I'm in Calgary right now, so I won't be back yeah. on the island for probably another few more weeks, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a wait and a delay to get those kind of things. It, it is, yeah, they, yeah, uh, probably like at least a week or two kind of. Yeah, thing. So usually ten ten business days. I can get that coming in as soon as you're around or whatever. We can, super uh, awesome. Yeah, we can yeah we can sort that all out yeah there's a fair yeah. there's a fair chunk of oil in here bro <laughs> yeah, we have haven't had good luck with this so with leaking with this diff eh? right like my like me and differentials are just like not getting along right now those lockers yeah. i'm like but hey i like yeah. I, i've had more downtime and problems with these lockers than i have had the chance to use it <laughs> you know that it's such a bizarre thing because usually a or b's are, are the the creme de la creme with this stuff right like i've it's very rare to see i mean you must you you're probably putting on a fair amount of miles on it too oh yeah well we've driven across the entire country this year so i've driven yeah. driven us out to cape breton and back and yeah 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 so this is i guess i mean arb says the serviceability for those some of those like the the seal housing o-rings they say they're you know somewhere between forty thousand kilometers ish so i mean you're you're still well under that kind of thing right oh yeah for sure like we just got it done yeah. before i left um, so the guy that's been doing my work for me, his name is Doug. He's from Chosen Differential uh, down towards the Victoria side of Vancouver Island. Um, just a solid, solid, solid dude. Uh, Doug, if you're watching this, thanks for answering the phone. So what we're going to do, um, Doug just said so we don't destroy the line. Um, we're going to see if we can pinch the line off right here. So he suggested just use a pair of vice grips. I'm actually going to put a screw in the end of it and then pinch it off too as well and then uh, check my differential fluid here. So hopefully we'll solve that up. Oh my gosh. My van is riddled with content. Every time I turn around, my van's got more reasons to turn my camera on. So van, mwah, thank you for being a world of content in my life. I think my van just knows that I'm a YouTuber. So my van's like, uh, you got nothing to film today. Psh, let's piss out oil everywhere. Bada boom, Chromie's got some content. All right, we're going to clean this up, get rid of some of this dog here too as well. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get that squared away. All that oil has been dripping down here and look how much is in here. Plus, however much is... Oh, there's a screw. We might be able to use that screw to seal it. <laughs> Sweet. I wonder how much has been dripping out of the bottom of this van all this time and I haven't noticed. Holy crap. Yeah, a little screw I found in here might work to seal off that hose. Yeah, that might work. Oh my gosh. At least I know it won't rust in here now. <laughs> oh, jeez. the line I put a uh, little bit of Teflon tape on the end of this screw so I'm hoping that'll be enough to seal it okay so there we go I put that screw in there with a bit of Teflon tape. It looks like it's holding. I'm actually gonna put that in a Ziploc bag and just keep an eye on it. 
which would be nice, which I think we haven't damaged too much the end because there's not a ton of it here. So he can still just kind of cut this, reattach it once he fixes it. We're gonna stick that in a Ziploc bag just in case we get a leak. I told you guys how much I love having a little a little vacuum in my van with all the fighting I've done with dog hair <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get myself one of these before it works like a hot damn this thing it's awesome and it's got a little power head in there so when you pull the trigger I'm guessing the air makes it just spin Woo super good man super good all right clean up over here too. These mats I got from Costco have been holding up pretty good. They've chipped a little bit on the edge here when you go in. And the only other complaint I have is they get little things that pop up like this all over the place all the time. So what I've been doing with these, cause they just don't stop, is I've just been burning them with a lighter. <laughs> and it works really good. You just give it a little, a little singe, bada boom, gone. But a boom gone. There it works. What's up, buddy? Oh, man. Good man, how you doing? Let's well, see you're doing some work in here. Yeah, doing some Oh, the blue looks good. Hey, Cruzy, you wanna go in and inspect? All right, up you go. Okay. Everything good? Oh, dude, it looks like a home in here, bud. The last time I seen you, this thing was like... Just bare metal. Just, just bare metal with... Dude, this looks good in here, man. I got a little beaten stick over there. Hey, that's nice. Oh, you got way better height in here than I do. Your little space. The blue was a good idea, though. Thank you. Definitely yeah. a good idea. Everyone was saying to go white and make it more spacious. Nah. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to be different. Forget it. Forget that. Everybody does white. And white's yeah. just it's bland. It's boring. That looks really good. I like that. Okay. You insulate it? Yeah. Yeah. Fully nice. insulated roof, floors, walls. Oh, that's wicked. What's with the bungee cord? Oh, so this holds my door still. This thing will oh, fall that, off. Oh, that door is still a... <laughs> yeah, yeah it'll, it'll still fall off if the ratchet straps in there. And it kind of sucks for my closet because the closet drops down. Yeah. <laughs> He's in here and I go, na 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 <laughs> 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 There you go. I can have a couch on the inside and oh, yeah? access my tools, but it flips up for food on the other side. Yeah. So I've got like a double couch. But I do. I like how you did that. I think people get a good idea to that one. How you knocked that out there, left a bit of storage back here. Yeah. I dig that. Sweet man, yeah, the blue is a good idea. I like the blue. And then one of my subscribers recently got down a swivel seat base. Oh, wicked! But I'm gonna have to make it fit because the bolts don't line. Yeah. So. Well, that'd be nice though. That yeah. open up your home. Oh yeah. Big time. Sweet dude. Cruzy, stop smelling the weird pants. Cruzy, don't smell the weird pants. <laughs> He's hanging out with a weird pair of pants in there. He's just smelling them. Up the big stairs. That is the hottest spicy chicken sandwich I ever had. My mouth is on fire right now. So the waitress just told me that she accidentally gave me that one by accident. Yeah, she comes over to bring bring us the bill. She's like, I just wanted to apologize to you. We accidentally gave you the flaming hot ghost pepper spicy chicken sandwich and she legitimately said i apologize to your butt because <laughs> it's gonna hurt i thought i had a cool onesie look at all these cool onesies what look at them all hey here's the unicorn one i i want that onesie that thing is awesome look at that thing 
It was the biggest ones that you got. <laughs> How's it fit, sunshine? <laughs> Smile for the camera, bro. <laughs> Hi Don, how are you? Nice to meet you. Watch you all the time. Sweet. Come on. Are you serious? This guy like a my head gonna fit this thing? Oh, you can't see, dude. You gotta lift it up. A little bit. Now you're disguised from subscribers. Ugh, I can't breathe. Ha, ha, ha.